PowerShell provides a powerful and flexible way to perform various optimization tasks efficiently. Here is a comprehensive guide on how to speed up a Windows PC like a hacker using PowerShell. Type PowerShell in the search bar and run PowerShell as an administrator. Set the execution policy. To run scripts, you might need to adjust the execution policy. Type set execution policy remote signed scope current user choose why when prompted this step is necessary because by default powershell may prevent scripts from running on your system for security reasons when you are working with scripts to speed up your computer you need to ensure that the system permits these scripts to execute adjusting the execution policy is a way to bypass that restriction only for the current user ensuring that scripts designed to optimize performance can run without being blocked Assigning CPU calls to specific applications can improve performance by better utilizing multi-core processes. To list running applications, type get process, select object, name, ID. This will display a list of processes with their names and IDs, making it easier to identify the applications you want to configure. Now type process, get process name replace example app with the app you want to configure in this case scenario this command let allows us to choose the application we want to assign the cpu calls in this case CapCut. type process processor affinity Decide which CPU calls you want to assign to the application. For example, for a 4-core CPU, the list is below. And for an 8-core CPU, this is the list. Now I'll key in 15 binary 1111 to utilize all 4 cores of my CPU when video editing on CapCut. This command allows you to assign specific CPU calls to a particular application. Some applications, especially those that are resource intensive like games or video editing software, can benefit from running on dedicated calls. This can reduce contention with other processes, leading to smoother performance and quicker response time. Adjust processor scheduling for best performance. Prioritizing background services or foreground applications can impact performance. To adjust for best performance of programs, type set item property path HKCU control panel desktop name windows metrics value foreground the command modifies a specific registry setting related to windows desktop performance specifically under the windows metrics key the windows metrics registry key contains values related to how windows handles graphical elements such as window borders padding and fonts modifying these settings can directly impact the responsiveness of the system's graphical user interface making it feel faster and more fluid to adjust for best performance of background services Type set item property path HKLM system current control set control priority control name win thirty two priority separation value 26 this modifies the registry settings that affects how windows allocate system resources among different processes the command prioritizes active applications which ensures that the programs you're actively using run more smoothly reducing lag or stuttering especially in resource intensive applications like games or productivity software automate disk cleanup with powershell automating disk cleanup will maintain disk health type start process Clean MGR 
argument list sage run one no new window wait this command is used to run the windows disk cleanup utility with specific arguments to help free up space and improve stem performance the sage run one argument allows you to run predefined cleanup configuration this means that any cleanup task you have set up in the disk cleanup settings will be executed removing unnecessary files like temporary files system cache and other space consuming data the wait to kill service timeout registry value determines how long the operating system waits for services to terminate during shutdown. Type set item property path HKLM system current control set control name wait to kill service timeout. value 2000 by default this value is typically set to 5000 milliseconds which is equivalent to 5 seconds reducing this time can lead to faster shutdowns especially if you often shut down or restart your computer Optimize disk I.O. performance. You can disable NTFS compression on drives, which can sometimes slow down I.O. performance. To disable NTFS compression on drive C, type compact U S I C. When NTFS compression is disabled, Windows no longer needs to decompress files every time they are accessed. This can improve performance when running applications that frequently read and write large files or using resource-intensive software like video editing programs, development environments, or games. Use the performance troubleshooter. Run the built-in performance troubleshooter to identify issues. Type name Microsoft troubleshooting. page page performance the command opens the performance troubleshooter in windows troubleshooter provides recommendations and potential fixes for identified issues they suggest disabling unnecessary startup programs or other optimizations that can help improve system performance manage virtual memory settings adjusting the virtual memory settings can help improve system performance especially if you have limited ram to access system settings press windows plus r and type sysdm cpl and press enter navigate to performance settings in the system properties window under the advanced tab click on the settings button in the performance section in the performance options window go to the advanced tab under the virtual memory click on change uncheck the option automatically manage paging file size for all drives select a drive where you want to adjust the virtual memory usually drive c choose custom size and enter the initial size and maximum size in megabytes the optimal settings for the page files can vary based on your system's ram and usage patterns monitor your ram usage using task manager press ctrl plus shift plus escape to open the task manager under the performance tab if you frequently max out your ram a larger page file can help for heavy applications example video editing large data sets gaming test the initial size to 1.5 times your ram and the maximum size to 2 to 3 times your ram for lighter use you can set both values to the same as your ram Click set then OK. You may be prompted to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. Save open work and restart if necessary. Optimize network settings. Adjust your network settings such as disabling QoS packet scheduler if you don't need it. Type get WMI object class win32 service where object name eq qos stop service force 
in some cases qos can introduce latency or other network related performance issues disabling it can lead to a more straightforward network operation without the overhead of managing service priorities potentially improving overall network performance Repairing corrupted files can enhance stability and performance. Run System File Checker. Type SFC. Scan now. This command is used to run System File Checker tool in Windows. Sometimes performance issues can stem from improperly functioning system files that affect how applications run. Repairing these files can lead to smoother operation and improved overall performance. Run Deployment Image Servicing and Management to repair the Windows image. Type DISM Online Cleanup Image Restore Health. Over time, the component store where Windows keeps files necessary for system operation can become corrupted. This can prevent Windows updates and feature installations from completing successfully, which may impact performance. DISM repairs these issues. Clear DNS cache. A cluttered DNS cache can sometimes cause slow network performance. Type Clear DNS Client Cache. This is used to clear the DNS client cache on a Windows computer. Over time, the DNS cache can become cluttered or contain outdated entries. This can lead to slow or failed connections to websites or services. Clearing the DNS cache helps ensure that the latest information is used, which can enhance browsing speed and overall network responsiveness. Optimize power settings for performance. Setting your PC to a high performance power plant can enhance speed. To get all power plants, type Power CFG L. This is used to list all power schemes available on your Windows computer. By listing the power schemes, you can identify which power plants are available, like balanced, high performance, or power saver. Each plan affects how your computer uses power, which can impact performance. To set to high performance, type high PERF power CFG L where object like high performance for each object split three trim starts trim end this line filters the list of power plants to find the one labeled high performance and extracts its GUID. The unique identifier is necessary for switching to that specific power plant programmatically. Type Power CFG S I P E R F. This command uses the extracted GUID to set the active power scheme to high performance. High performance plan keeps the CPU and other components running at higher speeds more consistently, reducing lag and improving responsiveness, especially doing demanding tasks. Disable error pick. Type set item property path HKCU Software Microsoft Windows DWM name disable preview window value 1 disabling error peak can lead to a snappier user experience by eliminating the overhead associated with rendering these previews this is particularly beneficial if you often switch between applications or use multiple windows simultaneously